Hi everybody. How is everybody today? Today is July the 8th. Sunday. I'm in my car. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I was going to make a video. And um, my kids are in the house cleaning and getting stuff done. And it's kind of noisy. Got the radio blaring and... I can't, I can't hear to make a video, so I thought, well, I'll just go sit in my car, and yeah, phones, phones, text messaging as soon as I get in the car, every time, every time, it's so funny. Anyway, so I am, um, I've been kind of journaling a little bit. Um, I, I've, well, I've been journaling a lot, but. Um, today I've been journaling a little bit and just kind of wanted to share a few things with you guys. I am, uh, first of all, nice day here on the plains of South Dakota. It is, well, it's, you know, this morning when we went to church, it was like 68 degrees. Now it's 82. So it did get warm up this afternoon, but it is 82 is way better than 104. So it is a nice, it is a nice, nice day here uh, in the plains of South Dakota. Um, I am 14 hours pre-op. 13 hours and 45 minutes. 13 hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> um, I am, yeah, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Be going in for my brachioplasty. Um, I've got a lot done the past couple days and I think I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to get, get it done. Um, I've been working out all weekend and I'm going to weigh first thing tomorrow morning and I had a goal and I did weigh this morning and I'm not happy with where I'm at. I only lost another pound and I really want to lose. So I'm down to 229 and I really want to be 225 when I went, hit the operating table, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, I'm trying to be okay with that. So anyway, I, um, I've been lifting, you know, deadlifting my kettlebells here at home, which I don't have the real heavy ones that, that we do at the gym, but swinging kettlebells, I have, you know, some routines and stuff that I do here. And then tonight, here in a little bit, I'm going to go walking at the track and walk a few miles. And then, um, yeah, I better probably get some rest. Yeah, because, but then I'm thinking I want to get this all done because I am going to have six to eight weeks where I'm not going to be able to exercise. So... Well, I'll be able to walk. I just will be able to lift uh, and swing kettlebells and do all my working out, which is what I love to do. So, yeah, I have to get up at 345. I have here my little diary that, that I wrote today. I have to get up at 345, be ready to leave by 430 in the morning. We have to drive 60 miles to the hospital, and I have to check in the hospital at by 530, and then my surgeon will come in about 630 or so, she said, and then I go in, I guess, around 7. She said it should take about three hours. And then I go to recovery. And then depending on how I do with that, then I should, there's fly. I tell you, living on a ranch, there's flies everywhere. Um, yeah, oh, I went and I picked up my meds. And I was gonna bring them out to the car with me to show you guys, but I forgot them. Um, they are three different meds. One is a pain med, and it is, really, it's just Tylenol and codeine. I didn't get any Percocet. <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. I mean, I, don't, please, don't get me wrong. I, you know, I just, like, okay. And then um, she gave me an antibiotic that I have to start taking tomorrow, and then some nausea medicine that goes under your tongue. Um, I've had a few surgeries before and I have a tendency to get nauseated from this from the anesthesia so they gave me that to put under my tongue and it's supposed to be fast acting so we'll see how if that happens if I'm nauseated how well because we do have a 60 mile drive back home so my husband I just talked to him and he's all you know I, I just got this new car and it's a 2012 Chevy Equinox and I'm so excited about it and it's it's great I love it and so well we have a pickup and um, our Ford F-350, it's a 99 crew cab, nice pickup, but you know, rides a little rougher than my new car. <laughs> and he's like, I think we're gonna take the pickup down, you know? And I'm like, oh boy. So yeah, 
I uh, and I cleaned my car all yesterday and wiped everything down and vacuumed and then he calls me because he'll be roll he's coming in from Wyoming tonight about nine nine thirty and then we gotta turn around and leave four thirty in the morning but he I think we'll just take the pickup down and it's diesel it's cheaper to take my car but oh well what are you gonna do um, I made I have here yeah today I picked up my meds I went to church picked up my meds. Went to Safeway, picked up some more things, got some, some more stuff ready for my daughters and my husband. And the freezer is jam-packed, refrigerator's full of stuff. I did make uh, some healthy custard. And it's a recipe that my trainer gave me, and um, it's called Bananarama Custard. And it's a healthy custard. And I'm going to do that seven um, that Rob did. And I actually have notes that I started to do this morning, but I'm not going to do that till after my surgery. The seven... Uh, tag questions and uh, it's kind of like what you eat and your program and stuff and I'll just throw this word out there it's called paleo and that's kind of um, a lot of the basis of what I eat and I don't uh, so do it like 100% strict but mainly what it is is where you don't eat a lot of processed foods and it's um, and so or low ingredients you know like you know you look like heavy whipping cream you know I, I drink heavy whipping cream instead of like the creamers because I love my cream and my coffee and so my trainer said you know heavy whipping cream it's no sugar no protein but no sugar and it's just you know 50 calories for was it two tablespoons so anyway I'm gonna get more into what I eat because I've been asked I've been sent a few messages on what I eat and how I've lost 121 pounds now and how I'm you know how I've been doing this and stuff without because I haven't had weight loss surgery and um, so anyway I was just going to give a quick recipe here on this um, and I, I was going to show you guys it in my kitchen but my daughters are in there and it's just it's loud so I just thought I'm just going to go to my car <laughs> so um, it's four eggs I have organic eggs here we only I and I eat I eat paleo, paleo and I eat organic uh, you know, we ha bought ch we got chickens a year ago. We butcher our own chickens, and we get eggs, fresh eggs every day. And if you lived, cl if y'all live closer, I'd sell you some eggs because I sell the best eggs. They're they're so good. Um, but I, I four eggs, one can of coconut milk, um, one right real ripe banana, like the blackest black squishy banana, and a tablespoon. Um, I use pure organic vanilla. And then you preheat your oven to 350, and you you just mix all that together really good in a bowl. In a, in a, you can put them in little ramekins. I just do my custard in a big bowl. And then I bake it for 45 to 50 minutes in the oven at 350. And it, it kind of puffs up, but when it settles down, it, it's, I eat mine cold. Some people can eat it warm. I like mine custard cold. And then I sprinkle a little bit of ground cinnamon on top, and it, and and you can eat like my you can put pro, like one scoop of vanilla protein powder, which I've made it like that before. I didn't make I didn't do that this time, so that's kind of a little protein. You can put the protein in there that way, and that's kind of a little treat that I'm gonna have. It's healthy and it's something I don't eat all the time, but it, I have had it before, and I've made it at the holidays, and it just is nice. I put it, I usually eat a cup of it, sometimes a little less, but probably I, I have these little square cup containers and I put them in there. Really good. If you really, if you're in, I can, if you forgot the recipe or whatever, I can send me a message and I can give it to you because you should really try it. It's really good. Um, I just wrote here in my little, di in my little diary here that it just says, I, you know, I'm feeling good today. I have mixed emotions. It feels like I wish I had gotten a hold, a, a grasp of my emotions 12 years ago uh, when I had tragic events in my life happen. And it, it was a lot of loss in my life. And it just, yeah, a lot of things had happened to me. And, and so I ended up become, I ended up at 350 pounds because I just, I think I just didn't care. I think I just was so depressed and so just, what else is going to happen now? And I just ate because when I ate, 
it made me feel better and I didn't know what I didn't know how to handle we moved from California out here and I'm like what am I doing here I'm a I like the city I like culture and I'm surrounded by it and we're getting sheep and we're getting cows and we're getting all these animals and I'm you know I just was raised around dog I mean we did have chickens and rabbits when I grew up but this is just a different life here in South Dakota if you're kind of a city or a city person and you move to the country you'd understand you understand where I'm coming from I mean it's a beautiful beautiful area it's just different it's a different life and it's cold in the winter time yeah uh, so I just got depressed my husband travels for his job I was left here on the plains of South Dakota uh, with with my two little girls and he traveled for six months and depression just just came in so anyway um yeah so the weight loss journey is not easy and it comes with a lot of emotions and we're all on this journey and no one's to judge us and I, I need to under, I need to realize that I need to realize that when I um, go in tomorrow morning I think part of me is like a little embarrassed like here I am like what are they gonna be think talking about me like during surgery I, isn't that weird how we think about these things like what are they gonna be saying um, are they gonna be like oh she just you know she, why did she become 350 pounds she's so fat now that's just in my head you know why you know what I mean I don't know they, they won't I'm sure they won't right <laughs> um, I just all these weird things that go through your mind so you know I'm starting a new life tomorrow I am excited I am nervous I hope that everything's gonna go well I had a little heart incident back in October where um, they thought I had a heart attack my mom died um, one of my tragic events was my mom suddenly died of a massive heart attack and uh, she was 57 and then uh, my grandpa died at 47 of a massive heart attack and I was hit with this this pain in my chest <clears throat> back in October and it was very scary and um, so you know you just you never know and and the doctors know all this and know my history and will you know take precautions and stuff like that but you know I'm still doing it it's gonna be okay and I know it's gonna be okay and I can't wait to show you guys the video my husband's got the video camera I really hope this all works out but I'll be able to video myself I think I can hold the camera <laughs> if not my daughter might be able to so all right it's so funny because I go out in my car to kind of have some privacy and then it's like then my kids are like where's mom and when they do they're on the porch like watching me and here I am just talking to my car. <laughs> but really, they don't know I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to try and upload this and send me messages. Send good thoughts and prayers. And to those of you, Belinda, Rob, Becky, um, oh, Jenny. Oh, I can't think. Of, I know I'm going to miss some names. There's a bunch of you that have sent me messages. So, uh, thank you so much um julie thank you and and just keep um praying and it'll be fine it'll be good all right i hope you all are having a good sunday keep on keeping on with your journeys and drink lots of water i'm drinking like a ton of water today i'm gonna be floating <laughs> so okay well my girls are like staring at me, so this is kind of awkward, so I'm going to get off here. All right, we'll catch you all later.